Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this 16th of October. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good morning. Good morning. Ben, good to see you. Good morning. Grant, Lawrence, good morning to you. Lita, Bonnie, good to see you. All right, good. Let's get guys and all the Cyber Traders. So uh, this is what we train for. We had a great morning so far. Early bird gets the money. Remember, I mean, this was a big list for pre-market. Um, you know, it's so funny, but we had... This has got to be probably the fourth, fifth, no, fifth consistent 100% plus day stocks, and not one, but more than one. Um, and I told you yesterday in our morning, in our meeting yesterday, that when it comes around the holidays, it gets pretty slow. We saw what happened with the Jewish holidays, how they fell on certain days, and the kids were off from school, and, you know, we had a couple of good things. I wasn't completely sold, but let me tell you, I've been drooling these last couple of days, especially Roku, you know, um, even though it was expensive. That thing, I mean, I still have it. The thing is still going up like a, like a rocket uh, after that news that came out on that thing. But there's a lot of stocks. Yeah, v, um, I know Benito, VI, uh, VIVT is starting to rebound uh, right here. It pretty much came to that $7 supply support levels but um but overall we had a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on uh cracky mic let me fix that yep probably a little too loud there we go i'm gonna lower it the volume hopefully that sounds a little bit better all right so um now regarding about what happened yesterday before we go through the watch list i mean you could see we got this vive was literally hit 1150 stock was 100 dollars, give or take a couple of months ago you know what is that uh well, a couple, I would say, more than almost a year ago. But a um, lot of big rebound going on right there. So, you know, this stock is extremely volatile, and we'll talk a little about it. There's a lot of other ones. There's BNGO that's moving. Uh, what else? There was the, uh, the IPWR, IXIO. I mean, the list goes on and on. But we're going to talk about those in a minute. I want to go over some of the big winners yesterday. Now, we all know what we traded, um, and some of you guys – that's the past. Let's talk about the present. Let's not think about what happened yesterday. You know, even like the, because what's going to happen is like you'll see some of these things getting destroyed. Let's start off with DTSS. Okay. Looks like the short is in. Looks like the short just popped in there. You guys, you know, listen, stock right here. We all remember yesterday, stock started at a dollar. At a freaking dollar, and it went all the way to eight dollars. Stock was up almost seven hundred percent, six hundred percent, and you know, and now you're wondering, well, why is it down to two fifty? This is what this is a short squeeze at its best. But you know what? Great traders never buy at a dollar and sell at seven. We buy at four and we sell at five. We buy it at six, we sell it at six fifty. Okay, we don't buy it at a do, uh, We don't buy it at five dollars. Um, run it to seven, and then now back at two. All right, but this stock was a huge winner yesterday, us, a, a, a huge winner for us, and you could see the shorts are starting to kick in. Uh, what else that we had that did pretty well? Um, Roku, R-O-K-U. I mean, that thing has just been a monster. Um, just didn't stop. You got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. I know it's a little expensive. You know, we rarely talk about stocks like this, but this stock was $180 stock, dropped down to a dollar. News came out yesterday regarding uh, the... The news on uh, Apple TV, whatever, doing that big deal with Apple, which is huge. And, you know, and uh, I did really well with this Roku trade. So that thing is still look like it's doing great. And it's been a great – it's been a, not only has it been a good day trade, it's been a great, great swing trade. So a lot of people are doing really well on that one. But you got to be in a four category, level four to trade that one. What else that we have? We had the SDC. So that's another one that did really well. Went from that's another stock that got really beat up, and she made she had nice little Fausto flags. Stock went from 940 all the way to 1040. That one did well. CTST. That one was also phenomenal. Another very inexpensive stock, dollar stock, all the way to a buck. Uh, went to a buck 40. That one did pretty well also. There were a couple other ones too that we traded. Uh, anybody stuck with the with the trades from the day before? Anybody traded the stocks the, uh, before? Was it BIBO? Is that what it was? No, not the IBO, which is a. Yeah, this thing is coming down pretty quickly. We'll check, we're we're going to check that one out. That thing is a, that, that's a short squeeze at its best, right, Ben? Right there. So 
that one uh, definitely came back down pretty quickly. So anyway, um, regarding about, uh, I'm going to give you a tip of the day, all right? And before we go into tip of the day, you still a nugget, Bonnie? The gold stocks. All right. Got that shirt off. Well, getting a little bit of a push. Uh, listen, we had a nice little rally in the market, so that's been fun also. But anyway, w let's talk about what's moving uh, this morning and talk about these trades because uh, the thing is this, everybody. This is uh, this is the stocks that we trade that we that that are moving, and there's a lot of them this morning. Let's start with the BNGO. All right. So this stock, or let me change the time frame in this thing so you can see a little bit better. Okay. So this one right here, you can see had a huge run up uh, right around 8 o'clock this morning, right from a dollar to 250. Started building the shake. Now, the big thing is this, everybody, that when you, when you, there are some students here, and let me, I just want to clarify something really quickly. Okay. There are some trials in here. And there's some of you watching me on YouTube and Facebook and this and that. I tell you right off the bat, we'll show you stocks of 100, 200, 300 percent. But please do not trade them, okay? Because you don't know why they went up, and you don't know how. You don't know the shakes. You don't know how to read level three. You don't know how to read anything. And if you were a beginner trader and or new trial, you jumped into the stock, you'll get crushed. OK, you don't know how to trade them. You got to be you have to be a student in cyber trade university. All your goal is here is that you've seen them. You heard of unicorns. Now you're going to see it. Now we'll teach you how to catch one, and how to drive one. OK, but you just need to see the facts. And that's what it's all about. So please do not trade any one of these stocks. OK, just observe and see if other people make money trading them. Just want to bring up that point really quick. OK, because if you, like this one right here, if you jumped into this one and you and you sitting there running to your wife's bed, honey, I was watching Cybertrain University. It's eight o'clock. The pre-market stuff really works. I just made two, three thousand. And then you come back like, OK, honey. And your wife says, hey, I just booked that five thousand dollar trip. I'm like. Sorry, honey, I just, not only did I make money, I ended up losing it. Yeah, now I'll explain that one. And believe me, that's not a joke. I heard that before. That, that had happened, all right? So BNGO, VIVE, let's try another one right here. Another huge winner right here. Stock right here, 7 o'clock this morning. Stock goes from 550 to 1150. It's up 65, 165%. It was actually up a little bit more than that. But that stock right there, another big runner. Why did it, why did it come down? Why did it go up? Once again, you got to be a student, all right? But. And, and everybody here knows what I'm talking about if you are a student. But don't be trading these stocks. All you know, there is such things of 165%. Remember I told you I just came back from Vegas. I did a presentation uh, for a Trade for a Cause. And everybody – it was really – I couldn't figure it out. There were people talking about trading – uh, oh, I only specifically trade Alibaba. I only specifically uh, talk about Tesla options, this and that. I'm like – then I talked about this, and people are like – that even exists? I never seen a stock up 100%. Well, now you know they're there every day. But anyway, this stock, nice little move. By the way, on the uh, on the level four, you know, just be, there was a big big iceberg order around seven dollars, which is probably why it kind of bounced right there a little bit. It looks like it bounced up to eight. There's some resistance levels right around here, around 11 again. So, uh, but just be careful. You got to be a level five trader on that one. Uh, B I B I M I. So the BIMI, guys, that stock right there, we made a lot of money with it. That was the other winners I was going to talk about, right, Ben? Um, so it's coming back to earth. Yeah, that's a big short squeeze. That stock looked like it's going to get crushed. Look, it's building a Fausto flag. It's breaking lower lows. This is a prime example of what's, why you just don't jump into these stocks. Remember, great traders buy it at 2. We sell it at 4. We buy it at 6. We sell it at 8. We don't buy it at 12 and hold it down to 5, okay? Uh, but anyway. This is like uh, this is this is trading at its best. But anyway, that looks like it's, it's coming back down to reality. It probably can come back to around four bucks the way it looks like where it's trending. IPWR. By the way, you know how many people I know own that stock right now? Ben and John and Mark. People that are in that position and you know and they got suckered in because someone else spoke about it and they're like, well, wait, you you got well you got didn't you trade it? I'm like, yeah, but that was like. Uh, Two days ago, you know what I mean? We're done. We went on to our next victim, all right? Every morning is a fresh new start. Remember, early birds get the money. Here we have another one, P, uh, IPWR. Nice little move, breaking new higher highs. 
uh, let me just go bring up my level four and just see it. Okay, so it did test a big resistance that was at four bucks. There's a there's a little bit of a not really that big, but there's a four thousand share seller right around four twenty five. Uh, yeah, there he is right there. You see him right here. So it looks like there's our resistance. It just backed off. Let's see if it breaks that. But spread is breed, you know, it's got good volume. It's got good tier sizes. But uh, spread right now, if you're not in it, just be careful. I would wait probably to the open, all right? But it, it remember, remember we talked about yesterday. Focus on your, you know, limit orders. All right, a couple of more we got here. So we got this, uh, yeah, we got three more. XBIO, another one. Nice little pop right here. A uh, great volume. Look at all that. Look at all the, the the big orders out there. Up 29%. 1.7 million shares traded. That's a hell of a lot of shares. You can see the stock also back in July was in 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 the 13, 15 dollar range. So maybe a little bit of comeback right here. Got great orders everywhere. Good iceberg orders. This could be a level one stock for all you beginners out there. This is the stock that you should probably focus on, not the other ones. S R N E. Here's another one that just came up. Another little cheapy for all you beginner traders. You know, this is something like, by the way, when I say beginner, like if you're new to Cybertrain University or you're a trial, remember, you want to trade stocks that are penny movers, okay? Because you don't know how to play the game. Remember, it's all about winning. Our job, by the way, there was a big article that just came out today. We're going to let everybody know about it. There was a big article came out on Benzinga uh, on Cybertrain University. I had a big interview. And, um, uh, and, I, and part of the interview is I tell everybody, just like I tell all the events, we don't teach people how to make money. We teach how to stop losing it. OK, so the big thing is everybody know, talks about the winners. Nobody likes to talk about losers. Um, everyone has the same problem. They just don't know how to take losses. So anyway, you know, focus on these inexpensive ones. CTST is the last one on that list. Uh, another very nice little cheapy right here. Nice little move up 10%. Quarter million shares traded. Look at all those volume orders out there. Beautiful orders out there. So you got, shockingly, we got just six really good volume quality stocks going into this pre-market. So um, we got a good list that's going on. Uh, Mark says, Fausto, I watched your YouTube video last night. And, uh, you're a big at uh, big and go home <laughs> well hopefully you like what the you watch the uh how to make the sauce video uh, hopefully it gets a lot of hits you know hopefully uh people like we're trying to want to share that wealth I, I see too many people making mistakes making sauce and they complain and you get these people like ah how do you make sauce man i'm like it's it's the easiest thing to do but it all starts with a good base all right so hopefully everybody starts making their own uh fresh tomato uh so that's not to I'm actually doing another video how to make sauce. That is just a base how to actually make it from raw tomatoes uh, to start just store it and jar it and, you know, stock up for the winter. So anyway, another big news I'm going to come out with, too, by the way, next week, I'm going to be on NASDAQ. I'm going to be on NASDAQ TV. I uh, they just called me up yesterday. So I'll send everybody a link. I'm going to be doing a big interview talking about level three. Uh, at Nasdaq, they were uh, they were actually hosting the whole event uh, in Vegas, and the, shockingly, the girl told me I got I got to read you this letter she wrote me. Uh, where is it? I, before we go, I, got, I just got to read this to you. So, um, her name is uh, Jill Marandaro. She's from uh, from Nasdaq, and uh, she wrote me this great email. And let me see if I could share it with you guys uh where is it okay so she goes um any interest joining me for the segment of my show at nasdaq market site times square would we'll be doing more content like you did at the uh, trade for a cause we can use the same kind of charts you did in the conference honestly I have never seen anyone explain how to use Total View like you did. So much better than the typical product convert, uh, convo. Basically, anyone that in her own company talks about it. So I'm going to be talking specifically about that. We'll give you guys a link when uh, when that comes up. So looking forward to that uh, that interview. So uh, so anyway, but at the end of the day, you got to learn before you could earn. So. Let's go out there and uh, let's try to make some money. Now, remember, guys, there's always a bunch of new stocks that do pop up. So, like I said, even the stocks that we found, there's always the new ones that are going to come out of the open. So, uh, so if you see something, say something. And for all you new, uh, new here to Cybertrain University, remember what I just told you earlier. Just sit back, look, listen, and learn. Please don't trade what we're trading. If this is what you want to do, you know, 
that's that, that's okay. We'll teach you. And if it, if it's not, that's also even better because at least you know that you're not, uh, you know, trading is not always, for, you know, not for you. And that's a, that's a, I always say that's a good thing. Good luck, everybody, and uh, we'll uh, we'll start commentating at 9:30. All right. Happy trading, everyone.